Muslims worldwide are observing Ramadan, the ninth month in the Islamic calendar, as a month of fasting. During Ramadan, it is important to maintain healthy eating habits. Here, WFP Egypt-based nutritionists Dr. Ali Hafiz, Michelle Dora, and Ayan Barr have shared with us some tips to help you stay fit, healthy, and active during this blessed month. Never skip suhoor. Just as breakfast is the most important meal of the day, suhoor, the meal eaten before dawn, is equally important for us during Ramadan. The pre-dawn meal helps your body stay hydrated and fueled up on energy and nutrients until your next meal at iftar. It also helps you avoid overeating when you break your fast at sunset. A well-balanced meal at suhoor could contain complex carbohydrates, oats, wheat, lentils, grain, and other complex carbohydrates like fava beans, slow-releasing carbs, helping to keep your blood sugar steady and giving you a feeling of fullness for the greater part of the day. High Fiber Foods Fiber-rich foods are digested slowly and include cereals, dates, figs, bran, whole wheat, grains, seeds, potatoes, vegetables, and almost all fruit, especially apricots and prunes. Bananas are a good source of potassium and other essential nutrients that keep your body hydrated. Protein-rich foods. High-protein foods like eggs, cheese, yogurt, or meat are also recommended as they can help replenish your energy throughout the day. Fruits and vegetables are a great snack between meals and a healthy alternative to pastries and sweets usually consumed during Ramadan. Some fruits and vegetables naturally contain high water content, especially cucumbers, watermelons, melons, squash, and pumpkins. Eating those after fasting hours can help keep you hydrated. Try to cut down on sugary and processed foods. Avoid heavily processed, fast-burning foods that contain refined carbohydrates, such as sugar and white flour, as well as Ramadan desserts. They are high in fat and low in nutrients. Break your fast slowly and don't overindulge. While it is tempting to overindulge at iftar, after a day of food deprivation, remember that you should slow down. Start with a few dates and water, and then wait before starting your main meal. Dates are a great source of energy for the body, helping it to secrete digestive enzymes in preparation for the upcoming meal. Afterwards, you may get started on some warm soup. Avoid heavy oils and fats in your meal. Make sure you consume plenty of vegetables and a good portion of protein and enough carbohydrates with a little fat. Remember, you should eat slowly and give time for your body to digest the food. Make soups a regular item on your iftar meals. Soups are warm, soothing on the stomach and easy to make. They provide the body with fluids, vitamins and minerals while offering a great way to incorporate vegetables. Try making soups from colorful vegetables available in season, such as carrots, tomatoes, pumpkins, bell peppers, spinach, zucchini, and eggplants. Remember to limit the amount of salt and oil you use while preparing them. Add flavor with fresh herbs. Stay hydrated. Drink at least eight to 12 cups of water a day. Drink plenty of fluids for hydration from the period of iftar to the time of suhoor. Beware of consuming sugary drinks. Although juices, milk, and soup are sources of fluids, water is always the best choice, so try to consume other drinks in moderation. Avoid caffeinated drinks. Caffeine is a diuretic that stimulates faster water loss, leading to dehydration. It is best to avoid caffeinated drinks such as strong tea, coffee, and colas. If you can't cut them out completely, then drink them in moderation. Avoid deep frying. Try to avoid fried foods or those prepared with large quantities of oil. If frying cannot be avoided, one tip would be to reduce the quantity of oil used. Instead of using one cup of oil, you can cut down the amount to half or quarter of a cup. It is best to avoid frying with animal fat such as ghee. Olive oil is not recommended for frying foods. Implement these simple tips for a healthy and productive Ramadan this year.